This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers John and Lena Roseman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So nice to be with you again as we gather to hear God's word and to celebrate the Eucharist. So together let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us this day with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God Son, Son of the Father, Father. You, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have, have mercy on us. On us. For, For you alone, alone are the Holy One, one. You, you alone are the Lord, Lord. you alone, alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have received from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. <coughs> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Jerusalem. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O oh my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. 
Let all your works give thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through the Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden Light. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, sometimes I get the feeling that the Gospel was written especially for our time and our age. Maybe every generation certainly feels that way, but when I look at the worry and the anxiety of the days and hear Jesus say, Your soul will find rest. It seems that he is talking directly to you and to me. Certainly, no one can deny that there is a kind of frantic quality of our modern life, which, over the long haul, tends to bring on a state of spiritual exhaustion. It seems that there are symptoms of desperation in almost everything that we do. For example, take the way that we drive. Look at yourself. The next time you get caught in rush hour traffic or in construction, we act as if the world is coming to an end if we don't make it through that green light. And do you know how much time you'll save if you try to beat that light? On average, 45 seconds. Are we really in that big of a hurry 
Are 45 seconds really worth the risk of both life and limb? Not to mention the emotional stress and strain. I don't believe it is. There's a sort of nameless, faceless urgency that keeps us charging through the days without ever stopping to wonder why we are in such a hurry in the first place. You can see that same example in the way that we eat. One of the major industries in the modern world is what we call fast food. You don't have to wait for your hamburger and fries. They're already ready when you get them. Why bother making an effort to have a, a decent meal with your family when you can pull up to a drive-in window, grab a box of chicken, and hurry on your way? Now, I'm not saying that those things are bad at all. All I'm saying is that there's something that goes much deeper, some undefined sense of desperation that wears out our soul and leads to a state of spiritual exhaustion. Well, Jesus was addressing himself to us in that very condition when he said, come to me, learn from me, and your souls will find rest. You and I need to hear that because our souls need rest just as surely as our body needs sleep. You and I cannot live in a constant state of agitation without paying a terrible price in terms of happiness, character, creativity, and usefulness. You know, all of the great things of life are contingent upon a sense of the serenity of our soul. Jesus had that himself. Oftentimes his days were a beehive of activity, but always at the center was a steadiness, a serenity that could not ever be shaken. You never see Jesus wringing his hands in worry. Always he had a quiet center to go out from and to go back to. Jesus knew how to rest his soul. We can learn that art from him. You know, the most obvious thing we need to learn is trust underlying and supporting everything that Jesus was and did is an undying trust in God. And his conviction was that God is in charge and God will always be in charge. The other thing we need to learn is service and useful work. Now, trusting God does not mean that we sit down and fold our hands. It just means that we stop wringing our hands. We need to recognize that we can't do everything. All we can do is put in a good day's work, lift our share of the load, do what authorities in the know are asking of us, and leave the rest to God. We must link our lives to God in a trusting relationship and pull our part of the load. If we would learn to do those things, our souls will find rest. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may offer forgiveness and peace to all those who are burdened by sin, even as we forsake seek forgiveness for our sins, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. That people around the world may collectively work for justice and righteousness, so that peace may reign from sea to sea, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For victims of gun violence in our homes, cities, and our nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may extend comfort and assistance to those in need, eating their yokes and lightening their burdens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, as we continue to walk in your way, may we continue to find rest for our souls and one day be welcome to the fullness of life in your kingdom. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Columba, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.